morning, everybody. Good afternoon. It's actually afternoon. It's 12.30 in the afternoon on a Monday. It is May 2nd. That means only four days away to my birthday. My birthday is Friday, so, um, yeah, I'm excited. Turning 21, bro. The real life. So, straight after 21, flying down to Vegas, uh, hook up some strippers, uh, cocaine, all that jazz. So, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we're not going to do that. Uh, we're actually going to Paris to EW, EWSC, I think it's called, it's the COD tournament. I'm going to be book my room today, actually. I'm going to text Tom in a minute. Um, book my room today. going to drive there on probably Saturday morning and drive back Sunday night. Um, so that's awesome. I can't wait to meet uh, the pro team. And, and I don't think there's a lot of phase members going, but... Uh, Tom is going to be there, and JPEX, the guy from the jerseys. I'm actually going to get my own jersey, so that's pretty much exciting. Um, right now, we're actually getting ready for the gym. I just packed my bag. Um, sure, I know I have my pretty G Fuel bag with me, which um, can take a lot of stuff at the same time. So I'm always excited to fill it up because it's dope. Now, we need to do our hair still. As you can see, it's like really... Fully but um, yesterday I uploaded the new video. It's a motivational montage edited by Rhett Mentor. Uh, he did a dope job, dope, 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 dope job. So make sure to go check it out if you've seen it already. Um, uploaded on my channel as well as Face Fitness. So if you want to check out both or only mine or only Face Fitness, I don't really care. Just go on there, leave a like, um, and check out Rhett Mentor. Now, we need a couple things to do. We have our music, we have our stuff. Kareem, we're training with Kareem today. It's a, it's a holiday week this week, so it's probably going to be really busy at the gyms, which sucks. But um, he's off as well of school, so we're going to train together, hang out. Um, he's going to take me, take with him a monster for me, so I can drink that. So we don't need G Fuel around now today. Um, yeah, right now, getting ready, and we should leave in like five minutes. 10. All right, I'll uh, see you guys in a minute. I'm gonna get ready and I'll see you guys then. I just wanna point out how beautiful it is outside right now. Oh, thank you. Thank you, look at this. It's all blue. Yes. Come on, please, spring. Stay here, please. Oh, there he is. Let's go. Look at that guy. Woo! Put it up! Always got your back. Oh, you got my back. Oh, dude. That's a good thing, man. Thank you, Base Karim God. It's you, Kachil. Oh, yeah. no problem, man. What's going on guys, my name is FaZe Jasper, welcome back to a brand new video. First and foremost, I hope you are enjoying this video so far, but, um, I'm sorry if you hear noises outside, someone is working in their garden. It's really annoying, I can't make them stop. But, anyways, let's get right into the workout. We did chest and triceps today um, with abs, with Kareem. And um, it was very, very busy, so we had to, we wanted to start out with bench press, but it was uh, unfortunately in use. So we moved over to the dumbbells. Now, we did four sets of dumbbells. Um, on the flat bench and then four sets of dumbbells on the incline. Um, the reason for that obviously is because we want to work the upper chest as well as um, all of the chest. So um, that's why we did incline as well. Uh, four sets and we did eight to ten reps on each single set. Uh, I think I did, this is the last set you're watching, I think I did eight set, uh, reps on this one uh, which I was pretty happy about. Um, yeah. I was pretty happy about that, so um, Kareem actually, um, he's one of the guys, if you didn't know, uh, that I started working out with, uh, he's been out of the running for like six or eight months, so um, he's getting back into it, a lot of, you know, he had, he had a lot of things going on, so um, I'm glad he's back into it, and uh, you, you might be seeing a lot more footage from me and him um, training together. So now, as you can see here, we're doing the incline, and as you can see, he is touching my chest, and um, that's kind of weird. Um, a lot of people look at us weird when we do that, but um, it basically helps me a lot with um, the muscle connection and, and you know, really 
um, feeling where I need to feel and squeeze the muscle. So as you guys know, by the right side, um, is really lacking and it's really behind and um, I have a really tough time feeling the right side as much as my right uh, as my left side so um, with him touching I could really really concentrate uh, with my mind on that particular part it was touching um, so I knew I had to squeeze there and and press with that so it's a really good tip if you have like um, uh, if you can feel a certain area uh, within your chest or maybe your, you know, your traps or whatever, um, you can always have someone, you know, slightly touching it and, and helping you with that mind muscle connection. Now, uh, this uh, the third exercise we did is uh, the decline machine, um, which is uh, something I've been doing a lot recently. Uh, went really well today. Uh, I was really happy with that how that went today. Um, then uh, we did. Um, cable flies did not record it, but uh, just normal cable flies, three sets, eight to twelve repetitions. We did it from a um, neutral height, so not the high or the low one, but just from neutral height, shoulder height, I guess it is. Um, and then we did some triceps. This is how you put down your water bottle. <laughs> this is Jasper in his natural habitat. No, yeah, so I wanted to uh, I wanted to include those clips. It was funny. Um, Karim is just a funny guy. Uh, but we moved on to do some triceps. Um, as you saw in the last clip, um, we did some tricep push downs, and then we did some overhead extensions as well. Um, just two simple um, exercises for triceps. Nothing crazy. Um, then we moved over to some abs. Obviously, we're doing abs every day. So um, today we did. Um, we did the um, leg raises, straight leg raises with a dumbbell, and then we did, I'm not sure, this is kind of like a hanging thing, but uh, it's like a finisher, I, it's like a knee raise. Uh, it's really nice. Um, I feel, I, if I hang forward a little bit, I can feel it in my uh, you know upper abs uh, a little bit more. So that's really good. So we do like, um, like the lower abs with the leg raises, and then we do a little bit more of the upper abs, I guess you could say. Um, in the second one. So uh, the third exercise for abs we're gonna do it is also the finisher is cable crunches. Now you guys know I do this very often. Um, heavier and heavier, uh, I'm getting stronger at it, so it's really good. Uh, feels really nice, five sets, 10 reps. That's gonna be it for the commentary, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please stick and watch the last part of the video. It's really important to me, so yeah. Alrighty, we're a little bit dark right now. So we're back home now. I had um, some food, some lunch. Um, Kareem is picking me up again. Uh, we're gonna head downtown, as the English people call it. Well, we're heading to the city, so uh, we're actually gonna shop for some clothes. And I haven't done that in such a long time, so um, yeah. I just need some new shirts, that's all. And I'm gonna buy that ball for the kid. Um, so that's all. It's super nice outside, it's like 23 deg degrees Celsius. Which is, I think, like 70 in Fahrenheit. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. Wait for him now. Last time when I came outside, when he picked me up, I timed perfectly, but I don't think he's here yet. He should be here in a few minutes, so. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, take you guys with me. <laughs> no minute. If I said <laughs> Oh, that lighting though. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit baggy. It's a bit Christian Guzman style. Yeah, I'm not trying to copy uh, everything he does. So I'm with uh, Jasper in the city shopping. Shopping clothes, man. I don't I, he's like never doing that. But yeah, I don't know how to, what to say or something. It's just uh, yeah, feeling really awkward. Now. Everybody is looking at me like he's what the fuck is going on so with me. Good. So yeah, that's it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are walking in the city. We picked up one shirt so far. Uh, mission is not complete yet. We still have a couple, you know, stores to go. Yes. Um, but I'm using Karim today as my stylist because he knows a little bit more about stuff than me. Look at him, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thanks, man. But um, yeah, still walking. 
it's quite nice outside and we're getting a lot of weird looks but really we don't give a shit right we do Maybe give a shit one or two. we yeah we give a shit <laughs> uh, but yeah let's go to the next store and see what we can find for us i like the basic stuff like normal basic colors t-shirts and then with a little bit you know a nice fitting and he does as well so we kind of like on the same page with stuff so that's good let's go already got a pass like that yo jesper yo oh the fuck are you doing <laughs> 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 okay so i broke the kid's arm right so i'm buying him a new ball as a gift for me to him to make it up for him so yeah let's go oh <laughs> okay Bye. fuck you doing Back them on. And the pranks begin. <laughs> Before it's on this clip, there's no sugar in these. <laughs> Zero calories. Oh, that's uh, your uh, BBC taste. Really good. How good? Cherry. It's like um, 9 out of 10. No, by the way, this right here, so the Vini. This is where I used to work in the summer. Greatest shit company ever. Just saying. Shittest company ever. YouTube. Hey! YouTube! YouTube! Um, <laughs> One more store to go, and then uh, we're good. We bought the ball. Here. What's going on, guys? Um, it's like 1.30 in the morning right now, so I'm downstairs. Um, just chilling. I came back from the city. This, by the way, I wanted to show you guys this. The shirt I bought, it's just really clean. Zara. Anyways, <clears throat> that's not that interesting. But I wanted to show you guys regardless. Because there's no point in me showing going shopping with Kareem if I don't show you guys what I bought. So it's just a really clean t-shirt. The upper just kind of uh, whatever. Um but today I wanted to talk about to you guys one-on-one -on -one, um about something because um, I had someone tweet at me today and it's a question that I get asked a lot personally and I have to be really quiet because everyone's sleeping obviously so I hope you can hear me well but um, someone tweeted me can you talk about school um, and why you're not in school anymore so so as you guys know may or may not know I'm not in school right now um, I finished high school, uh, went to college, kind of college. It's, uh, it's different in Europe than in America, but I'll just call it college just um, for the sake of the video, for the easy, so it's easy. Um, I did film school for a year in Amsterdam, lived there for a year, um, figured out that the Dutch film, like the actual film movie world, uh, was not made for me. Um, school was awesome. Uh, we did like it was like a year. Yeah, with the production of the films, he was, was like basically an assistant, like do it all guy or girl. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Met a lot of cool people. Um, it was a good learning experience for me personally to get my know to get to know myself a little bit better. Um, but uh, I figured out it wasn't for me. Um, I was always into YouTube always into YouTube, uh, it's like 2010, I was like the YouTube guy. Um, I took a year off, I think, then um, 
I, I really didn't know what I wanted to do with my life <clears throat> because you know obviously you have to choose um, something a subject you want to go study for so um, I didn't know what to do some I, I talked to a lot of people um, about it uh, you know what would what would be for me and all this time I was acting off active on YouTube um, making videos uh, on Twitter everything like that so well, yeah, I talked to a person who is actually let a list like right there um, across the street um, and she helped me with making my choice, um, which was to go do um, computer, like ICT it's called here, I'm not sure if it makes sense, um, it's like computer technology and media, uh, it's like one one year you have like these different things, you have like programming, you have like web design, you have like business, uh, stuff like that, so, but I really um, was always interested in, as I said, the, the social media things and how um, you can, you know, you know, build a brand and marketing and you know, stuff like that, I really um, find interesting, so when I was at that school, um, I actually had a lot of, you know, programming, like really hardcore computer stuff, which um, is not me at all either. So that didn't work out. So after um, like half the year, I quit, um, which obviously not a lot of people were, you know, excited for that. Don't mind the hair police. Um, especially my parents, they weren't excited, um, which is normal, I think, but, um, yeah, I, I mean, I made a choice and um, I started talking to, to the woman again. I was like, you know, I, I just don't know what to do. I didn't like this. Um, and then the whole face fitness thing came along and I had the opportunity to be a part of face. Um, I have a separate channel and I work on that. And, and I thought to myself, damn, this is, this is me, you know, this, this is what I want. Um, and I, I knew it, I felt it, I knew it, it clicked, I was like, this is gonna work, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna put my, my freaking whole life into this, I'm gonna put all my hours into this, which I did. So, um, you know, first, first few months, first half year, um, had, had a job at the grocery store, I was a cashier there, um, yeah, did it for a few months, um, full time. Well, like not full time, but like thirty hours in a week, um, and and then evenings I would do like videos or do stuff for face fitness, whatever was needed. Then it was a lot smaller. Then I wasn't like the leading guy. I was like making videos here and there, and then not much. Um, talking to sensei like every now and then, uh, nothing crazy. So in April. Me and Sensei planned a trip for me to come down to New York. Um, I saved up money from work um, and I wanted to go to New York to the face house, obviously. You know, I was a big, I am a big face fan. I was back then, I was like a crazy big fan. So, obviously, I wanted to go. So, um, I went to my boss and I said, um, Can I take three weeks off to go to New York unpaid? Uh, she was like, No. Why? And she was like, yeah, um, it's not fair to the other people, whatever. Uh, really crazy reason in my opinion, but whatever. Um, so it was either I quit the job and go to New York or uh, stay working and, you know, we'll, don't make the trip. So I made the trip, <laughs> basically. So the point of this, this whole talk uh, to me and about school and stuff is School doesn't, I don't think school works for me. Um, all my friends are at university, you know, and I have a lot of, you know, they go, you can do they go out, they go study, they go drink, they, and I'm not that type, and I know that for myself. I, I know myself, and I'm not that guy. Um, so for me, it's just, it doesn't work, I think. Um, this doesn't mean I don't like, like studying or learning new things. 
actually don't like studying, but I like learning new things, but um, I can feel like I can um, do it differently. Uh, that's basically it. So um, I returned to New York um, since then, tried to do this full time with the little money I make. Um, the whole okay so the whole point of this talk that's what I'm saying um, is that I'm taking a risk I'm taking a huge leap of faith um, to do this and um, I'm hoping to get it that it works out obviously um, but the point the point is I am really confident in myself and a lot of people can call me cocky a lot of, a lot of people can call me whatever they want but I really 100% believe that I can do anything I want. 100% believe it. There's, no, there's literally no doubt in my mind that I can do anything. Like there's literally nothing in my head that says so. Um, I was, I've been always a really competitive guy uh, with sports, man. I, did, I, was, I was already really good at sports, you know. Like I was really athletic. Um, I, I always wanted to do the best in gym class. I wanted to be the fastest, the best. The, the, I can jump. In in middle school, I jumped the highest in high jump. While I was the smallest kid, like I jumped over my own length. I can do anything I want, and this is my mindset. And you can call me crazy, but I can do this YouTube thing. I really want to take this risk. I wa I really want to take this leap of faith and uh, make this work and make this into my into a career um, into a thing that I can live off um, so you guys we have 20,000 subscribers now you 20,000 people um, that subscribe to my YouTube channel are going to be the first um, to hear this from me because um, I really don't like talking about stuff um, that doesn't work yet for me so I really have a, a big feeling um, that um, I disappoint people when so I'm very smart okay this is gonna be a very deep talk and I'm sorry but I just wanted to know you guys have to know get to know me um, I'm not I may I might, might be you know putting this in a different video but it's you know very important to me so um, if you know me personally I am pretty much to myself uh, a lot um, I'm a really you know outspoken guy and I'm not shy or anything but I like to be with myself to myself uh, a lot of the time um, I have no problem with being on myself spending time with myself because I basically do that all the time um, but I feel like I have a especially to my parents or my friends I don't like talking about this whole YouTube thing yet because I feel like I um, I, I set such a high standard for myself that you know I until I reach a certain level I don't like talking about it because I feel like I haven't I don't want to say made it but there's I haven't made oh you can say that we haven't made that to that level yet if, if that makes any sense um, so um, um, I'm taking a risk I'm taking a leap of faith. I'm taking a risk um, that I'm going to make this YouTube team work. And I do believe in myself 150,000%. And um, that doesn't mean I don't care about you because you are the reason why I would make or not make it. So you are very important. You are the most important. And I, will, and I love making videos. I mean, this, does so, this makes so much sense to me to do this. Um, I love YouTube so much. I love FaZe, I've been like, I've been a gamer since like 2010, trick shotting, making videos. I love fitness, it's my passion, it, like literally after football, my biggest passion right now, I love it so much. Um, and YouTube, I mean, I've been making videos since 2010, so FaZe, fitness, YouTube, FaZe, fitness, YouTube, this is literally all I'm doing. How does it not make sense for me to do this? That's all I want to say. Um, yeah, it's been a long rant, 12 minutes, I'm really sorry, 
uh, I'm hoping you you know still watch this. It's really important to me. Um, so you know a little bit more about me personally. Um, but yeah, it's two in the morning. I'm filming a video for you guys, and um, I'm excited, guys. I'm really excited um, for the future, and I have a lot of big plans in my head um, that I want to execute. So um, yeah, I can't wait to see y'all in a new video tomorrow. Please leave a thumbs up comment something funny like literally something funny uh, in the comment section if you're still watching uh, i really appreciate this um yeah thank you it's one-on-one with your boy jasper i'll see you guys later peace good night